Bridge is a coming, bridge is a coming, bridge is a coming, bridge is a coming. You still have time to grab your Bridgman sweater before the big day, only available on my special spring store. Welcome back to Timber Borners. It's season 4, episode 12. It might be the finale. This time you can sing along, much to my editor's de stress, and enjoy this episode. Where we slay evil architects, that means all of them. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome to another wonderful episode of the Timber Borners. And yes, this might be the finale, I'm not quite sure. I feel like because of the Giga Reservoir we created last episode, uh, this could be the end. I feel like I've completed hard mode. I've finished this map. But of course, we have not finished. We have not finished. Why not? Well, because our beavers, they're still working the fields. They're still carrying logs. They're still working their wood. Well, to be fair, I, I think they can still do that. They quite enjoy that job, if I'm honest. But yes, today we are going to be attempting to finally unlock all the golem stuff. And golems are basically, they're just robots, which means all your beavers, they can just chill out. If they want to come sit in the temple all day, they can sit in the temple all day. If they want to have a cheeky beer in the rooftop terrace where the beavers performed, they can do that. But at the moment, they can't. They've got jobs to do. Uh, first off, though, let's just see where we got to last time. So as we can see up there, it's 2.5 days until the next drought. And last time we did this we finished the giga reservoir so we built a dam up here with the aptly named reservoirington the episode before that we constructed this mega aqueduct using the district of aqueductington of course uh, which now includes a bridge uh, so we've made that much much better um, as you can see at this end we're sort of close to filling up the reservoir we've still got i mean that's a huge area i don't know if it's going to be completely full so we'll be waiting to see how this works so i got loads of floodgates and different things i need to open and close so that'll be pretty exciting when the drought happens, we can see how it finally works. If it does work, that is. Uh, the other thing before we get started on the golems as well, obviously this this river here, this sort of lakey thing, this is almost the most critical part of the entire colony of Engineerington. In that if this dries out, then all of our crops die, all of our carrots, all of our trees will die, all the maples. Uh, so what I was thinking of doing, similar to over here, where we sort of, we dug down over this side so that these guys had more water to pump. I was thinking perhaps I should dig down here just so we're storing more water. So during the drought, we don't have to empty this as much as we would otherwise have to. Uh, and the way to do that is basically, if we come into landscaping, we can select dynamite. Uh, we've got 67 dynamite to pay. Oh, I probably should have waited till we had 69. That would have been nice. I was sort of just thinking, if I go particularly along that edge, I mean, to be honest, the entire thing should just be dynamited, really. You can see they're bringing the boxes of dynamite over. They're actually starting to build this from the edge without getting wet. That's pretty clever of them. All right, so there's 0.9 days until the drought happens. If we come over here, it looks... Yeah, they finished this, which means we can, we can bring some water into this area. We can store a lot of water in there, actually. Uh, now, there's two ways to do this. We can either... Oh, look how full this is. Oh, hang on, actually, I've just realized. Oh, no, I think I... I've cocked up. I've cocked up. I was meant to dynamite some of that out. Quick, quick. <laughs> I need to dynamite this lower. Oh, that is a lot of dynamite. I don't even think they can get down there. Oh, poo. Hang on. Delete that one. Swap it with stairs. Right, now they can get down there. Uh, I say they. There's no one in Aqueductington. We're going to have to nominate someone. This is why we need our golems. So we can just send people over without having to worry about food and stuff. So which one of you wants to win the prize of going to Aqueductington? Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Oh, where's it gonna stop? Where's it gonna stop? Okay, so I landed on Bad Wolf. Bad Wolf, where are you? All right, there he is, making his way down the stairs. So everyone, shame, shame. Sh Wait, why are, we sh why are we shaming him? We don't usually shame people that have won prizes. It's a good thing, I swear, Bad Wolf. You're not really being shamed, don't worry. Well, you can see he's carrying the logs already because he knows he's got to build stairs before he can get down. So they're going to go in there and then he just needs dynamite. However, I probably need to stop this from flooding because that water level is pretty high right now. So I've got two choices. I can either I can either lower this level a little bit. Probably the sensible thing to do because uh, not only will that prevent this from flooding, it should also fill up this. Uh, alternatively, I could divert the water out of those triple floodgates. If I bring that down to there, there we go. We are filling up this area now. Um, and that means I need to I need to fill these up. So that can go to the top. Then these outer ones, they're going to go a little bit higher. Oh no, we forgot to build that bit. Ah, see, it's leaking, it's leaking. <laughs> so we need to build those two stats. Stat oh, actually, we need to build all of this higher. There's got to be another layer on top. <laughs> ah, quick. 
All right, high prioritize. High prioritize. <laughs> oh, how have I cocked this up? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Stop sending water in there. Raise these floodgates. I mean, thankfully, it's flooding on the side. That doesn't really matter because there's not really any buildings that can get flooded on this side. This side, though, that is the district center of engineering turn. If that went under, we would be screwed. And just like that, that's the end of the day. You can see night is here. And then I guess this is just going to fill up one last time. And then as the sun rises, you can see the drought has started. And I should probably just raise those for now. Because the more water we're storing, the more we can pump with our log pumpers in there. Uh, coming out of there, we've got constant supply of water until that's built. Oh, look, he's built one. He's built one. I think that was you. I mean, he's thirsty and swimming in water. Chocho, he's not... Oh, wait, how old? 114? Mate, have a drink. Hey, stop work. You can retire. <laughs> Is he, oh, he's gone in there to get some grilled chestnuts. Good choice, sir. But yeah, 114, and he's still working as a builder. Chocho, we salute you. Right, anyway, anyway, we're in the dry season, so there's no more water coming. We've got 1,700 water, though, so we're pretty good for water. Now we've got water stored there, water stored there. We've got water stored there in the aqueduct all the way back up here. And of course, yeah. um, and of course, I think I think food sorters. Well, I mean, we've got four thousand carrots. That's more carrots than anyone can handle. Uh, so it's definitely time to sort of to move on into the golem phase. Now we got three thousand two hundred twenty-eight science. I don't think we've been producing science for a long. Oh, actually, if we look in this one. Look, ninety-five-year-old Zico of the Toro is in there, uh, sciencing away. Fair play. Uh, so we are still making science then, and I know we need a lot for the golems. So the golem factory is sort of broken into various different parts. So we've got the refinery. That's four hundred science. We've got the biofuel tank that we need. That's 200. We've got the Golem Part Factory. That makes different parts. So we sort of need three of those. And you can see the body takes 18 hours. The head takes 18 hours. Oh, and the, the legs take a bit less, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, so I do just need three. Because doing the math, we can literally make a golem in 18 hours if we have three of these buildings. So each arm is four and a half hours. Times by four, because there's four, four limbs. Minus that one, that's three quick maths. So yeah, three of those. So that's 1,500 science. We then need the assembler. That's 750 science. Oh, wow. And a lot of metal blocks. How many of those do we have? We've got 191 metal blocks. Yeah, then do I need a catalyst tank? That takes 15 gears, 15 metal blocks, but also 20. They're reinforced logs. Now, we're not making reinforced logs. Uh, in order to do that, I think we need to... Can you see these trees down here? They've got like maple coming out of them. So we need to harvest that yeah, and then treat our planks. But I think we can, we can do that fairly easily. So let's get started then. So first off, the refinery. That will turn food and water into fuel. And then this is going to go there, I reckon. All right, then we got biofuel tanks to unlock. So that is, that's the fuel situation sorted for the golems. Next up, we need three of these part batteries. One there, one there, and then one down there. And then for each of these, I can set a different recipe. So that one can be the body. That one can be the limbs. And that one can be the heads. And then we need the golem assembler. And then we'll shove that in there, I reckon. And then I don't actually know, do I need a catalyst tank? A reinforced vat for storing catalyst, a potent biofuel reagent. I assume I do. And that's the thing that takes the reinforced planks. So back into the wood tab, we need both of these unlocked. So we need a tapper shack that will allow us to get pine resin from the tree. Oh, it's pine resin. It's not maple. I don't have any pine trees. Okay, okay. So let's do this sensibly. So down here, I reckon, we'll have a forester in there. And then we'll plant pine trees all about there. Uh, we'll make sure they're not marked for cutting because we don't want that to happen to them. Then we'll unlock the tapper shack for 500 science. Oh, it's only a little building. Oh, that fits really nicely up there. Look at that. I'll probably super high prioritize that uh, so that they'll get planted ASAP. Oh, no, look how long the dry season is. It's a 30-day dry season. I think that's the longest it goes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we've got to be on high alert. This could... Ah, a pelican, a pelican. Anyway, anyway, then we'll be able to build the wood workshop, which needs... Oh, it needs power, this thing. Oh, do all of these need power? Oh, they all need power. Bum holes. Um, well, actually, looking at the back of this, I don't need I don't need these stairs anymore. Uh, so I can I can just delete all of those and then do some shafts from here. So we need the wood workshop, 800 science. Yep. And then if I unlock the high power shaft, what a name. Then we can shove that like that. So that takes the power out of the windmill into the building. So that's that powered. And then yeah, to be honest, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete those from that side of the road. I'm just gonna have everything on this side. Oh, then the refinery that doesn't actually need. That doesn't need power, so that's cool. So biofuel tank back over there. And then the only thing we'll need is the catalyst tank. So let's unlock that. No, I don't have enough science. How much science do I have? One? How did I end up with one science? What? Was that actually a glitch? Or did did I literally have enough 
to unlock everything apart from that with one site. What are the odds of that? Right, well, anyway, that will allow us to create golems. We probably are going to need more power, though. Yeah, so I'm sort of thinking if I just shove a load of windmills down so I can get four windmills around the back there. That's pretty good. We can shaft them in like that. Right, and then just like that, the beavers are getting to work. So it won't be long until we get golems. But yeah, anyway, whilst we're building that, this is going to be a huge test of our engineering prowess. Will we be able to last the longest drought on record. A 30-day drought. Like we've already like two days in and already like all that water has evaporated because that's not leaking out anywhere. I mean, thankfully, the Giga Reservoir is looking pretty full right now. And the fact I put triple floodgates on this end means we can make the most of all that storage. So honestly, I think we're going to be okay. I don't want to get overconfident, but uh, we're going to smash this. Oh, and by the way, no, no, look. Chocho died of old age. The 114-year-old. I don't know what age he got to, but uh, he is no more. Oh, Chocho, you will be remembered for working hard throughout your lifetime. Rip Chocho in the chat, please. All right, good news, everybody. Over here, Bad Wolf sat on his ass. You know why? Because look, he has finished the dynamite. So, boosh in fast motion. <laughs> that was a little bit too quick. Yeah, so now it should be pretty hard to flood this without everything backing up. So that is good. Uh, Bad Wolf, come back here, mate. Stop running away. Stop running away. Migrate. You're going back to engineering terms, fella. So there he goes across the bridge. Shame. Shame. Sh oh, wait, wait. We don't need shame in. We don't need shame in. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> oh, look. We've built our first We've built our first thing. I think that's the fuel refinery. Uh, so first off, we've got to select a recipe to buy fuel out of carrots. I think that's what we want to go for. Yep. And then we just need some workers to work in there. Well, if we have a look down here. No, these guys, they're still pumping away. They are... They're addicted to pumping their wood. Um, but once that water has dried up, that will be four new jobs that we can move about. Now, I'd say what we could do, we could actually pause these metal block things. I don't think we need any more metal blocks for now. So yeah, let's pause those or at least low prioritize the jobs. Um, that means you, Davy Rocket, what are you doing in there? Anyway, we're going to low prioritize you as well. So I think you're free now. You can leave. Yep, he's off. So don't have to tell me twice. And then down here, if we have a little... Oh, look, he's being sneaky. He's being very sneaky. <laughs> That is Alexander Torres. He's actually he's actually planting pine trees. So we can have the pine resin to make those planks that we need. But yeah, I feel like I'm probably going to need some more workers. So I'm going to get another house on the go. That's another three workers we can hold. Down here, the pine trees are done. You can see he's at the top of his tower. He's like, don't make eye contact with Matt. If he sees me, he'll put me to work as something else. Well, yes, you're quite right, Alexander. Um, you're sacked. Oh, look, look up here. We are making stuff. So we've made the wood workshop. That's fine. We can't really do anything till we get the pine resin there. But the Golem Park Factory, let's up the priority on that. There you go. Alexander Torres, he's gone straight in there. He's going to be making Golem chassis. Oh, and it looks like to make them, he's planks, metal blocks, but he does need bio fuel. So I probably do need to up the priority of this. Uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. You can see that's working now. The beavers are polluting the atmosphere in order to make automation. There's an industrial revolution going on. Uh, by the way, check out the progress on the dynamite down here. We're nearly done. So there's just a few more bits up here that they're finishing off. And then that is going to be a hell of an explosion. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm just, I'm just watching the days go down. We've already gone through 10 days of the dry season. Look at the amount of resources we got left. 1,700 water, 4,000 1,300 food. Uh, we're actually in an amazing position. I haven't moved any floodgates yet. Uh, although, although these guys, their straws have stopped sucking. Their logs are not long enough. So that is four more workers we now have because there's no point pumping logs. So water. Oh man, water went down quick. 1400. <laughs> Where did that all go? But yeah, thankfully up here, we've still got these guys working their wood. So all good in the hood. So much rhyming going on. Ah, and up here, look, we've got more golem factories. Oh, look, we've already made two golem chassis. Chassis. Chassis? <laughs> Why do I want to say chassis? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's cool. That's going. How are the pine trees looking? They take 12 days to get to the log stage, but then another seven days to get to the pine resin stage. Oh, that's a long that's a long way off. Right, I tell you what, I don't actually know how many golems I want. I don't want to go overboard and build like all the all the chassis and then don't have any resources left for arms and legs and heads. So what I might do, we've got three bodies now. I might pause the bodies and then shove Alexander into the refinery. Then, ah, stop, 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 stop. Ah, the blooming 
water's run out. The water's run out. The carrots will die in 0.9 days. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but what I want to do first, I'm actually, I'm going to fast forward to the, to the date. I'm sorry, carrots. You're going to lose like half your life. It's going to be worth it though, because then everyone watching this video can actually see what's going on. Damn night cycles. All right, so there you go. Sun has rised. Rised or rose? Sun has rose. Sun did rose. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to hit detonate. Boosh. Boosh. So much booshing. All the booshing in the world. Everyone got booshed. Okay, so that's good. We've made that deeper now, which means we can come up here and we're going to start letting water out. I'm going to lower these front ones as well. So then that's a nice surge of water coming down here. And uh, the good thing here is we've basically doubled how long this will last until it needs refilling uh, just by making it deeper. So you can see all the life is coming back. You don't have to worry about picking the carrots. We're all good now. Yeah, you can see that's like enough water down there that this dam down this end is pretty much overtopping. So we'll raise that back up. And then if we want to, we can fill this back up either with the aqueduct water, which, oh my goodness, that has gone down. So yeah, we've got a little bit of storage there. So, I mean, why not just let that out? So that will go into there, which means we can top up again. Um, and then next time we can, we can start draining some of the reservoir. But for now, we don't actually need the reservoir. That's how well this system is working. Yeah, and we're nearly halfway through the dry season. Actually, we're only halfway through the dry season. That's, that's going to be a long dry season. Uh, thankfully, up here, you can see everything is built now. So we can actually start assembling uh, once we have all the parts. And do we, we've got four arms, one head, three bodies. <gasps> we could do it. Okay, so raise priority of that. And then in the Golem Assembler, we have Taz and Jordan Miller, two of my longest serving patrons. Thank you both. Uh, they're going to be producing the first ever robotic beaver, um, which could revolutionize the beaver world of Engineerington. But yeah, since we're only halfway through, I feel like maybe I should give our beavers some like more entertainment and stuff. Because I mean, to be fair, it's, it's cycle 22, day 20. I don't even know how many days that would be. We're probably like in the thousands of days by now. So it's probably about time I unlock some of these. Maybe maybe the shrine. Yeah, my beavers need a shrine. So we're getting a shrine. I'll tell you what, we'll put it up there. This is going to be a shrine to remember all those that came before us. All the beaver lives that have been lost during this season. Even all the beaver lives and seasons before that. That got us to this point in time where we are smashing hard mode. Now, I hope you little baby beavers. Oh, look, help. I'm stuck in a podcast factory there. <laughs> They're remembering. Oh, and I like the noise when I click on it. Oh, listen. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> All right, anyway, shall we go check on heavy metal? We haven't checked on these guys for a while. So we got the scrap metalers. They, they still got a bit of scrap metal remaining. Fair play, still going on. Down in front of the dam, we've got farmers. They're getting carrots. Now, yeah, you can see all their resources pretty good, actually. The dam, oh man, the dam water level is dropping significantly. We're actually, we're using the emergency, emergency log pumper uh, because the water level has dropped so much. This one can't be used. So super some creation. I think you need to be paused, mate, because you're, you're literally just pumping air. But yeah, down here, tunnels beat bridges. They are working their word away, meaning those guys, they're self-sufficient. They're good. Back at Engineerington. Oh, look, look. <gasps> the golem is being made. How far? Oh, did it just get built? Where did it go? We may have just built a golem. Right, pause, pause. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> we got to find the golem. Oh, there it is. There it is. We got a golem. His name's Barrelbot. That will not do. That's got to be named after a Patreon. Right, and I feel like this is the most suitable name out of all my Patreons for this. Oh, yes. If you get the link... Let me know in the comments. Oh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? He's gone into the woods. Oh my God. What's he doing to that tree? What's he doing to that tree? <laughs> Censor that editor. Oh my goodness. What have we created? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, this guy, he's unemployed. He's unemployed. We've got to give him a job. Um, and the way the way he was, like, what he was getting up to in that woods, I feel like the only job that would be suitable for him, probably, is if we come up here to the wasp pump. Look, we now have this button so we can say, Golem, go in there. So, oh, look how quick he is as well. He's so fast. He is absolutely cheesing it. Oh, man, he's so good. So the light has changed color to indicate there's a golem in there. Is he pumping his wood more vigorously than everyone else? No, I think he's I think he's got the same tempo going on. However, however, it's important to remember golems don't need sleep. They're robots. So this guy will literally work through the night. So we can pump twice as much water as we otherwise could have done. Yeah, and the best thing is we're making another one already. Now, I don't know what sort of 
what fuel does it need? Because I sort of, I thought I would need the catalyst fuel for it to work. Ah, oh, so you can see here, basic needs. So it just needs biofuel to keep going. Um, oh, and catalyst is a boost. Look at him carrying the barrel. He's putting the water in there. Oh, he's so cool. I love him. Um, but yeah, that's not the only thing we can do with golems. Uh, whilst it would be nice to give all of our guys a day off, golems do actually have special abilities. Now, if we head down here into the landscaping tab and go right to the end, look, we have dirt excavator. As it says there, it's a golem only building. So basically that allows us to dig land out, which we can then use in the terraforming station. Uh, we can place terrain blocks. And you might think, well, why would we want to place terrain blocks? Like we can we can literally build aqueducts and all sorts. Well, the thing is, you can't grow carrots on top of wooden structures. So this allows you to sort of like make a new like food platform. So potentially we could turn this reservoir into like a farm in the middle. Like we could make all of these islands into like a huge farm thing. Maybe we'll do that at the very end. We'll see. But yeah, for now, I think we've achieved. We've got golems. Look, it's nighttime. Everyone's asleep. But this dirty, dirty boy is still up working his wood, pumping that log. He will not give in. <laughs> Um, right, I don't actually know if this is the finale anymore. I feel like now I've got golems. I'm all excited. I want to see what else I can do with them. I want to have like a hundred golems. Let me know in the comments. Should we continue? Should we start a new season? I just don't know anymore. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and working your log until you get splinters. Bye, guys.